and we get on the BART and we notice that almost everyone's plugged in somehow or other to their phone, um, to some sort of other device. And as contemplatives, we, we ponder this some and it brings a sadness to us that so many people don't understand that there's so much more to life than being plugged into internet, their phones, whatever it is that they're listening to or watching. What is it? What is it that's more? How do we find this more? There's a psalm verse that says, be still and know God. Again, when we look at the great mystics and contemplatives throughout the church, we realize that their message is not just for nuns and monks. The message is for all. Why be still and know God? Because when we turn away from all the noise, what Cardinal Seurat calls the dictatorship of noise in our culture, we find heaven. We discover that heaven is actually closer to us than we are to ourselves, as St. Augustine says. We find that heaven resides in this place that the spiritual masters call the heart. When we're so distracted, we're far away from our true home. Our home awaits us to enter the door of the heart. But of course, to do so, we have to unplug ourselves from all this noise. We have to make a choice, an important choice. One of the most important choices that we make in our life. Do we turn to God first and foremost in our life? Or are we going to allow ourselves to be completely pulled away into all sorts of other matters where our days are so often thrown away, precious time, on matters that just come and go? God does not come and go. He is always present. He's at the ground of our being. How can we start to hear that voice inside all of us. Just in the sanctuary of your room or any place within your home where there's no TV going, no radio going, no involvement with any of the noise that's so prevalent. Instead, turn it all off. Take a couple of deep breaths. Relax, close your eyes, be still. Take your gaze away from everything outside and recollect yourself. Turn back, come back to that deep center in the heart where awaits you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.